to celebrate the fact that today's July 3rd and five years ago today, Sarah Palin announced that she was going to become a professional moron selling her ridiculousness <clears throat> to reality TV and to all the boobs who think that she speaks the truth. I give you Republican congressional candidate and Louisiana State Representative Lenar Whitney releasing a four minute and 45 second ad talking about how global warming is a hoax. No, I will not force you to listen to all of it. Just some. And here she is picking up the mantle. Maybe she'll quit her, um, her race halfway through. We'll see. Recently in my announcement speech for Congress here in Louisiana, I said something very provocative. I said that global warming is a hoax. Naturally, liberals in the lamestream media became unglued and attacked me immediately. The liberals and the lamestream media became unglued when she said one of the most ridiculous things that one person could say at this point in history. But as George Orwell once wrote, in the time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. A specter is haunting. The, the best part about that is that the, as she's saying, uh, George Orwell once wrote, he's actually in front of a microphone um, speaking it uh, on the BBC. And it, listen, notice the music change. America, it is perhaps the greatest deception in the history of mankind. It has been almost 10 years since failed presidential candidate Al Gore put out his propaganda film, The Inconvenient Truth, proclaiming that the actions of America's energy industry are causing a catastrophic rise in the Earth's temperature. But quite inconveniently for Al Gore and for the rest of the politicians who continue to advance this delusion, any 10-year-old can invalidate their thesis with one of the simplest scientific devices known to man. And here comes an example of a 10-year-old bra uh, brain attempting to do that. Continue. A thermometer. <laughs> the Earth has done nothing but get colder each year since the film's release. God certainly has a wonderful sense of irony. President Obama knows it's getting colder. He was foolish enough to blame our recent pathetic economic growth on record freezing weather. And then he turned around and launched a new debate on global warming. You know, I should tell you that um, God probably didn't have the time to say, like, I'm going to play a little joke on Al Gore. And also, you should understand that there is a difference between America and the globe. Just because it's cold in one winter in America doesn't mean that global warming isn't happening. Now, I know as she holds up a little rectal thermometer that she thinks she can take the temperature of the globe by sitting in that whatever it is, that closet with a sheet behind her uh, by, I guess, holding the thermometer up. But there's actually scientists who record the entire globe's temperature. And apparently... What she's saying is totally false, but it is national. Remember the day that Sarah Palin uh, quit her job, so we played it. I thought she put Sarah Palin to shame, frankly. Well, I don't know about I that. I thought she was sort of showing how it was done. 